It's late February and we're embarking on a two-day adventure through still snow and ice-covered roads through some of the most gorgeous terrain you can find in Pennsylvania. Joining me on this trip is Jimmy from Pine Grove Premium Outfitters, our buddy Joe and the two-door JL Wrangler, and of course Austin with the chainsaw and the orange JL Wrangler. Um, it's not warm and it's a little dreary. No winter maintenance in the middle of a snow squall, good to know. We encountered some pretty wild conditions on this trip, reaffirming our already deep respect for nature and its ability to throw a curve at you at any given moment. So this is the original Rocky. about 21 degrees I think it is going up to maybe 31 today and we're about to hit the trail here from Lewisburg um, going basically straight into Bald Eagle from here so it should be uh, some cool stuff it's gonna get really cold tonight but we're staying in a hotel again we stayed at a uh, country and then suites or something here tonight we got Jimmy's Ranger uh, back there we've got Joe's Jeep and Austin is coming back. Oh, Austin's over there. Austin has coffee. We gained an elevation as we wound our way along this trail following a rushing mountain stream. We had just crossed into Bald Eagle State Forest and it was already beginning to flurry. This light snow on top of the already icy and cold ground conditions was making things just a little bit sketchy. Hey, watch yourself in that big washout here. All right, looks like we just gotta move through it. Yeah, it's crunchy enough. You still have traction. I don't think you watched your back end, but I got it on video. As this trail transitioned from a flat track along a stream to more of a shelf road, we encountered our first real obstacle. The down tree here, but it looks like uh, I can bust a little branch down for us, maybe. If we need to move it, we can. Thankfully, Austin had his chainsaw, and thankfully, it's not slippery. That kind of hurt.
kind of see the skies are really a weird color. I keep getting those snow squall warnings. Yeah, this thing's gonna smack us real quick, real hard. Yep. Wait out and head on the highway. My in range just alerted me to an extreme weather phenomenon in the area. Oh, visibility dropping hard. We are continuing straight here, straight at the intersection. This is no joke. There's actual whiteout conditions. Uh, let's see what happens. No winter maintenance in the middle of the snow squall, good to know. Hey guys, uh, hold on. Sliding, sliding, sliding. Sliding, sliding, sliding. Why am I sliding so much? I just decided to do a 180, so there's that. Did you slide into a 180 or you turned around? I stopped and slid back about two car lengths. Let me look at the map, we might need her this one. Yeah, I mean, we might want to even wait till we can see. That part where we did the hairpin turn, let's head back to that and we're gonna continue on that. And then we'll take uh, another major road left and it'll loop us back to where we wanted to go anyway. All right, let me get out of four wheel low. Uh, dude, stay in four low for the moment. Okay. Yeah, Joe, you get get down a little ways and then let us know when John's good to go and then we'll continue. Do it one at a time, keep it safe. Alright, I'm good. Everybody else? Yep. Good to go. Look up to the left. Yeah. We now have an awesome group of people supporting us on Patreon. It's patreon.com slash dirtroadtherapy. You can join for as little as $1 a month. All patrons get the exact same benefits, some of which are online hangouts with me and the other patrons, automatic entries into all giveaways and contests, and direct access to ask me any questions you want, like tips on where to go, how to plan a trip, or a request for a specific GPX track that I've saved. We would love to have you as part of that community. Yeah. Alright, start moving. Icy Hill. 
We have approximately a thousand feet to descend. We have a track UTV coming up. See, now that's ideal. <laughs> I like you guys. And then there is a 180 degree turn here. Interesting. First gear, four low, lockers on, everything here. There's a guardrail at the bottom, so that's cool. Look how bad it is there that it warrants the guardrail. It just looks like that first little section is the bad part. Chainsaw out again. Got a big tree across the track here. Everybody good to go? Or go, yeah. Okay. How is this even the same day? <laughs> this is all Saturday as far as I know. Crazy. Yeah, just the epic sky. So this is the original Rocky. Gas station is a must stop if you're ever in time. Yeah, it's pretty well kept secret for some reason.
I was looking at my camera stuff there for a second, and all of a sudden I was just like, got this weird, like, vertigo feeling in my head. I'm inside things. Very pretty. I know that these radial tire tracks are gonna run out and then it's gonna get interesting, but I don't know when. <laughs> Look too narrow to be snowmobile tracks, but there's definitely some tracked vehicle uh, tracks on here. Yeah. Or at least enough traffic. I might, you know what, it might be a, a groomer. Yeah. Who needs steering when you have ruts? Yeah, I don't think steering over the last hour or so has been anything more than a suggestion. You got a straight shot through that intersection, just don't let up because uh, it sent me from the left side over to the right side without my consent. Nice recovery, Jimmy. If anybody's wanted to do a donut, like in place, this is the time to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and hang out at this bridge for a second. Down in these deep valleys, the sun was quickly disappearing, so it was time to head to our hotel. But we still have a whole day two of this adventure yet to cover. And all I can say about that is, wow. Sure to watch day two as we adventure onward through more snow and ice to some beautiful vistas and some river crossings.